Hey there, folks. I wanted to give you a run through of how to cut cross bridging for our floor project. Remember that cross bridging helps stiffen our floor by preventing the joists from twisting. So what we're going to do is grab some scrap 2x4 or 2x6 from the scrap bins or the blue racks, and we're going to rip them down into 2x2s. Here I'm setting the table saw to inch and three quarters because I'm going to be ripping a 2x4 exactly in, in half. It doesn't matter that it's going to be inch and three quarters by inch and a half. These are just braces to help stiffen the floor. They don't have to be pretty and they don't have to be exact. So whatever scrap wood we have kicking around, please use that instead of grabbing full lengths from our lumber racks. So now that you've ripped the two by four and half, we can get rid of one half and focus in on just the other half. And so what I do is mark our framing square here, just to make it more obvious. I marked this side at nine and this side to 14 and a half. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out our, our square like this. So the nine inches is gonna be on the top and the 14 and a half is gonna be down here at the bottom. Okay, so top edge, bottom edge, you can see how they're lined up there. Okay, maybe I can zoom in a tiny bit more. Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna make a, a, a cut here or a line here. And I'm gonna make a tiny little line down here at this side, just a tiny one. Just so I, when I spin this, I can line it back up. I'm gonna rotate it just 180 like that. And now the nine is down here at the bottom and the 14 and a half is over here at the top. So I'm using the first line to line up my 14 and a half and I'm using the nine down here at the bottom. So just trying to line those up. It's gonna be pretty darn close. Don't worry if it's a tiny bit short. We'd rather be a tiny bit short than a tiny bit long because then you'd have to trim it if it was long. We can go ahead and make those cuts. Um, now, if for some reason we have a different joist spacing, right? We can keep the nine inch because it's a two by 10, but we can also just have, let's say we had a special, as Larry Hahn calls it, a special joist spacing of 10 inches. Well, we can just set it to 10 inches. And so what that would look like, if I just flip this over, we'd line up the, the nine here and we'd line up the 10 at the bottom. And so the angle would be different. Actually, I'll keep it here so you can see the angle being different. So the angle, if you look, is a different angle, but the process of laying it out is the same. Okay, so your, your hypotenuse number would end up being different and your angle would be different, but you don't have to do any of that math because you're just using your framing square to lay it out. All right, all the best.